and my wig did not come out right. It came out super crusty and it's still super crusty and it's going to be crusty for this whole video. So just know that I know that it's crusty and we don't need to talk about it. What's up you guys? It is Jerrica from JerricaSincere.com and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a sweat proof foundation routine. I'm going to show you guys what I have been doing over the summer to keep my makeup looking flawless even when I'm outside in the heat. Okay, and I have dry skin so I'm going to be giving tips mostly for dry skin but if you have oily skin there are some tips in this video that I include that way you can be included into the festivities as well. So if you would like to get more information on how you can have a sweat proof summer foundation routine then keep watching. Alright you guys so we are starting with a fresh face and we are doing sweat proof makeup. And I know this is sweat proof because this is what I have been wearing all summer. I ain't really been out the house for real for real. But um, like I maybe go on a date with my husband. I tr we try and do date night like once a week. Um, so and it's been hot all summer. Like I've been hibernating y'all because this pregnancy is like I've been so tired. Um, like once I hit 24 weeks, I was just like I ain't doing nothing. I ain't going nowhere. So I've literally been hibernating and only coming out when I absolutely need to. So when I did go out though, it was hot. So when I was doing a full face of makeup because like I said, I wasn't really going nowhere. So when I was going places, I was like, I need to, I wanna do my whole face. So I just wanna just look cute because I'm going out for like once in a lifetime. So sweat proof makeup. So the first thing you want to make sure is that you have a good skincare routine. Like let's just put that out there. No matter what type of skin you have, whether you have combination oily or dry, I prefer, I have dry skin. You have to have a good foundation. I mean a good skincare routine no matter what. Because if you don't, your foundation, your makeup will not look right. And your skin is the base of your makeup. No matter what makeup you put on your face, if your skin is jacked, nothing there's like nothing that will make it look better and <clears throat> and it took me a long time to realize that so i started taking skincare seriously back in 2018 and that's when i started washing my face regularly and yeah so that's when things started to change for me but before that i was like why doesn't my makeup look good and that was why so you want to make sure that your skincare is done like whatever skincare you do that's this is not a skincare video. I'm not an expert on skincare. I'm not even an expert on sweat proof makeup. I'm just an expert on what works for me. So for me, I have dry skin. So I, I always have to do my skincare routine, make sure I hydrate. And then I also have to use hydrating primers because again, I have dry skin. And even if you have oily skin, you still need to moisturize your face because your, your oily skin is overcompensating for being... Like if your skin is getting oily when you have on makeup, it's because your your skin isn't moisturized. So no matter what type of skin you have, you need to moisturize. And which is why I don't understand why makeup artists will always put milk of magnesia on their clients' faces. And it's like, I mean, milk of magnesia is not good to be on your skin to begin with. Like it's not an approved makeup, I mean, skincare product. But people be doing it and it be looking good, but I, I don't recommend it. So I'm going to use my favorite, all-time favorite, if you're an OG subscriber. You know my all-time favorite primer is the Fenty Beauty Soft Silk Primer. This primer is life-changing. It is everything for me. I love it. I love the way it smells. It moisturizes my skin very well. It's just the perfect, it's the beginning of a flawless face for me. And I got um, my mirror right here, so this is why I'm turning. So... I'm going to slather this on my face because it's hydrating and my skin just loves it. Okay. Now that I have that on, like my face just feels, my face just feels instantly hydrated when I use that, that primer. I absolutely love that primer. It's everything. Um, my second favorite primer is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And this is also a hydrating primer. And the reason why I like to use this is because it creates a sticky base for my foundation and my foundation doesn't move it's set 
it's good so I like to go on with this on top of the hydrating foundation uh, I mean the hydrating primer I feel like I have found a combination that works great for me so I'm sticking with it until I find other products that work just as well or better I'm sticking with what I know <laughs> I'm sticking with what works these products work and please ignore my crusty wig like we're not even finna worry about it today y'all like I put this wig on two days ago I tried to film another video two days ago and I was just so sick I just you know, I was just like you know what I'm done and you know when you're not feeling well like nothing you do looks right like your makeup don't come out right your hair don't come out right nothing comes out right and my wig did not come out right it came out super crusty and it's still super crusty and it's gonna be crusty for this whole video so just know that I know that it's crusty and we don't need to talk about it I'm just putting it out there all right so once I have my hydrating primers on the basis of the, the foundation is done so so step one is your skincare make sure you have a good skincare step two is the primers so if you have oily skin you want to use the matte primers and there's some times where I do use matte primers um, but I, I realized that hydrating primers work the best for me, especially if I'm using a matte foundation and uh, or a matte long wearing foundation. So the third step is you want to make sure you have a really good long wearing foundation. And most foundations that are long wearing will say 24 hours or it'll say long wearing. So this is the Fenty Beauty long wear foundation. This is the soft matte. I'm in the shade 385 and this is a long wearing foundation. So you want to make sure you find one that has that on there um another foundation that i absolutely love is the dior backstage foundation that is my go-to i have been wearing that mostly all summer um i'm not sure if that one's 24 hours is this one 24 hours i don't know if it is or not i, th I thought i think it is but this one's more of a like a natural hydrating foundation i love this foundation but for this video we're going to use the venti okay so ooh, hit my microphone so get you a good foundation sis whichever one you prefer um like i said if you have dry skin i highly recommend using some hydrating primers and then going in with the matte foundation um even when i use my hydrating primers i mean foundations i still use hydrating primers just because my skin needs it so i'm going to go ahead with my foundation let me go ahead and shake it I'm going to buff it out with my foundation brush. Once I'm done with the brush, then I'd like to go in with my sponge. All right, so once my foundation is on, um, the next thing I do is go on with my concealer. Um, I'm using the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Mocha. Um, for concealer, it really depends on what you wanna use. I just like using this. This is a good hydrating concealer. And it's just it's also like a 24 hour concealer. It don't say 24 hours, but it's medium to full. So you could build this concealer up, which is why I really like it. And then it's just, it's just really bomb. I really like this concealer. It's really good another thing I want to mention is if you have oily skin one thing you could do is um, put some setting powder on the oil, on the places that you know you're gonna get oily um, when I get shiny I notice it's always like in my forehead area and right here um, so you want to make sure that you take the necessary steps to combat that so that won't happen so I got my base on I'm gonna do a little bit of contour and to do that I'm going to use what I normally use. Is this in focus? Because I swear, I feel like I'm out of focus. Um, but anyway, so I'm using the Juvia's Place Stick Foundation. I don't really do much on my forehead, but I'm just going to put a little bit. And then... To buff that out, I'm going to go in with the Morphe E63 brush. Alright, so next step is your setting powder. And this is also something that can be whatever you desire for it to be. Um, 
I just recommend a really good professional setting powder because I noticed I don't have much wear time with drugstore powders and I mean stuff like you would find at Walmart not stuff you find at Ulta um, so anyway I want to use the setting powder I like to use the Sasha Buttercup setting powder the Laura Mercier setting powder is good as well as the Beauty Bakery flower powder um, all of those are good choices and what I like to do is put the powder on my sponge blow a little bit to get the excess off and press it into my skin I noticed that I don't have as much oil or I get shiny in this area when I do this What I'm doing is sort of baking and pressing it. Like I'm, I'm not just setting it on top. Uh, I'm also like kind of pressing it in my skin as well, which also helps the longevity of your makeup and it helps your concealer to not crease. And then I'll just let it sit for a few minutes. I don't let it sit for very long. There's really no need for it to sit all day long. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna let this sit for a few minutes and then I will wipe it off. Okay, now I'm just going to wipe it off. If you have a good setting powder, this should be effortless. If you have a powder that's not so good, then you'll be wiping forever. Like when I use my when I use the Fenty Beauty powder, it take me forever to get the powder to wipe off and it just doesn't wipe off. I'm just going to briefly go over this part here that I did with my contour cuz it was a foundation stick, so if you don't set this part, it will be oily. It will get shiny. Alright, so that is the basics. Um, now what I'm going to do is go in with something that you could, you could do, you don't have to do. Um, this is something I started implementing in my makeup routine about a year ago now I guess it's been over a year this is a finishing powder because I was always like why do I need a finishing powder if I have a setting powder but a finishing powder is just exactly how it sounds it's a finishing powder it just brings everything together and it just makes it look smooth and it's just more protection against oil so I like the Sephora micro smooth powder this is technically a foundation but I use it as a finishing powder um, I'm in the color deep which is also called mahogany number 56 you can get this from Sephora, clearly, because this is Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. And I'm just going to take the Real Techniques Blush Brush. And I'm using the blush brush because it's super lightweight. Um, normally when I apply this, I would normally use a powder brush. But a powder brush is more dense, so I just wanted to use this just to distribute the, prob just to distribute the powder lightly over my face and not have it be too cakey and this also helps wipe off if you have any setting powder that's left over that won't leave using a finishing powder on top will definitely help you get rid of it so now my face has come together now for some people they might be done with their routine for me I like to go in with bronzer so one of, one of my last few videos I did a review on the Juvia's Place um, what was this called their bronze collection and I fell in love with their trio like they had a whole bunch of bronzers that came out and I fell in love with this one this is the bronze tan palette it comes with two shades for contouring I always use the top one because the bottom one's a little too orange so I just like to sculpt out my cheek area with this And this also just brings some color back into your face. If you're in the sunlight, you'll know what I mean. Oh, I can't wait to take this wig off. Like, as soon as I'm done filming, this wig is coming off. And I'm going to wash it. Because <laughs> it needs washing, y'all. It needs some TLC. Because it is bothering the crap out of me. This, mm. And then the studio lights make it stand out. Whatever imperfections, the studio lights just make it stand out. 
Now, for me, um, what I would do next is apply setting spray. And setting spray is also very, very, very important for your makeup. Um, what I would normally use is the Morphe Continuous Mist setting, setting Mist because I like that this is, um, it comes out in a mist. So like it, is, it doesn't come out blotchy and leave patches on your face. And it just brings all the powder together. It makes it not cakey. Um, it's not matte nor dewy it's just a setting spray but i recently discovered the makeup revolution super hold misting spray this is also a mist so it doesn't come out like any other setting sprays um but i hear this will make your makeup mask proof i can't vouch for that i have not this is my first time using it in this video but so all i'm saying is get you a really good setting spray this one had really good reviews i will leave everything linked down below so I'm going to go ahead and try this, even though I'm not even leaving the house. So I really don't know how well it works. But um, I'm going to go ahead and try it. Ooh. See how when you use a setting spray, whatever powderiness you were experiencing, it should be gone now, which is a good thing. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply my highlighter before my face dries up. I'm using the Morphe Mirage Highlighter, which y'all know that's one of my favorite all-time highlighters. Try to only use it there now because I used to go overboard back in the day. Just using it on my upper cheek area. Ooh, it's so pretty. And a little bit on my nose. And that's it. Ooh, it just looks so pretty. I love that. <laughs> just so good. So for lip gloss, um, I'm not even gonna do anything special to my lips right now. I'm just gonna apply some lip butter. Um, if I was just going out, I wouldn't apply, I wouldn't really do like no lip liner. I mean, if I'm taking pictures, I would, but just for this, I'm just gonna use the Tree Hut Sugar Lips Lip Butter. This stuff is everything. If you have dry lips, get this stuff. It keeps your lips shiny for a long time. And that is it, you guys. So that is my sweat, summer sweat proof foundation routine. Literally, it's that simple. When I'm going out, that's what I do. Um, it works for me. I don't have any problems. I don't have to worry about looking oily. My makeup lasts all day long. There ain't no issues. I don't have no issues. My makeup be looking good. Like last week, I was outside for like five hours in 85 degree weather. I mean, I know it could be hotter. But my makeup, when I came home, it was still flawless. Like it wasn't separating. There wasn't no oiliness coming through. It just looked bomb. So depending on what type of skin you have, if you have dry skin, if you follow my routine, you shouldn't have any issues. Like I said, as long as you have a good skincare routine to go along with it, you should be fine. So that's it for this video, you guys. So if you guys like this video, I hope you guys thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on my Instagram at jerrica.sincere and check out my blog at www.jerricasincere.com. And that is it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day.